Hi, I'm Harold Enger from Spring Green, and I'm going to talk to you today about grub damage. Here it is, early September, and lawns are beginning to recover from the ravages of this past summer. A very dry, hot summer, a lot of brown areas developed during the summertime. But then we have an area that we see over here that's continuing to get brown, even though the rest of the lawn is showing signs of recovery. Only way to really check for what the problem is in the lawn is to get down on your hands and knees and do some investigation. So we take a look at this lawn. I, the first thing I do is I just pull on it. And look at this. You see how that grass is just pulling up like a carpet? Very easy. You can really see it here. Well, that's a good indication that you have some grub activity. Now, grubs are the larval stage of adult beetles, uh, Japanese beetles, mass chafers. There's many different varieties of grubs that are uh, out in, in nature as such. But um, the grubs will lay their eggs during the summertime, the eggs hatch, and now they're at about the third instar or the third growth pattern of, that, of their life cycle, and now they're really causing damage. Grubs are like little mini sod cutters. They eat whatever's in front of them. They'll eat the soil, they'll eat uh, other organic matter, but they do love turf grass roots. So they have been going underneath here, eating away the roots. So if we take and lift up this grass, we can see how easily it pulls up. And sure enough, when I get in here and look, you can see the grubs that are beginning to, that are doing all this damage down here. You can see them uh, squirming around. So, the natural tendency here is to all of a sudden to start saying, oh my gosh, and really begin ripping up all of this turf to find the grubs. That's not what you want to do. What you want to do is put down an insect control on this and water it. If you water it, the roots will regrow from the turf and this grass will do just fine. If you rip it all up, now you're going to have to do a lot more repair work in this area. Now the one big problem that we have with grubs at this time of year are from animals, especially raccoons, possums, um, skunks, they all love grubs. It's their favorite time of year for feeding. And they will just rip up a lawn like this looking for a tasty treat. So it's really important that you get an insect control down now so that you can get rid of the ones that are here and then also put down an insect control preventative next uh, early summer that will keep those grubs from even occurring. So this is a real problem in this lawn. We want to get the, uh, grub activity, the grub activity stopped. We're putting down an insect control today. So for more information on controlling active grubs, contact your neighborhood spring green professional or you can visit my Ask the Expert blog at spring-green.com.